video, we will look at the HS function of the RFS 2.2. The Nikon trigger is going to work the same as all the rest. RFS 2.2 is a required component for using HS with compatible lights. This is going to be available in the Canon, Nikon, and Sony triggers. To turn HS on, first you have to enable it on your lamp head. After you've done that, just go to the back of the trigger here, tap on HS once, and scroll on the command wheel until you get the mode on, and then tap HS one more time to set. From there you go, you're just going to put this on your camera and HS mode is going to be enabled, allowing you to sync at any shutter speed. Now RFS 2.2 automatically calculates the timing of the flash for HS mode, but if you see a black bar in your image, that would be your shutter curtain, you may need to adjust the HSMA setting. To adjust HSMA, long press the HS button on the back of your trigger until you get the HSMA value. From there, dial the scroll wheel from a value of 0 to 100. Now the appropriate setting varies between cameras, so you're going to want to try this out and take a couple test shots to get the best possible value setting. From there, hit HS one more time, it'll go ahead and apply, and you can get back to shooting. So make sure you check out other videos in the series for how to get the most out of your RFS 2.2 Bronn Color Trigger.